All right, welcome back everyone. In the previous clip, this was exactly where we stopped. What I forgot to do then was to introduce myself to you properly in the in the previous clip. I am the prof, the CTO of Ogitech Networks Limited. That is the chief technological officer of Ogitech Networks Limited. This is part of our philanthropical work and I was delegated to walk you through, as in to walk this batch through from the beginner stage to the advanced stage of web designing okay so why well, i'm going to be very fast this time around because i just want to get you started i just want you to to understand the basics all right we stopped uh, by creating this file called introduction.html in the previous clip so we're going to go in and go into it i will click on the introduction.html this is the body or the screen of our file is it working at all beautiful all right so um we have this let me start by explaining the keyboard by explaining this to you all right if you look at the bottom side of the screen we have this trebedit keyboard all right we have the div tag we have the anchor tag we have the image tag we have the class we have the id we have the html snippet we have the paragraph, we have the span, the li, the ul, the input, and so on. You don't need to worry, worry much or bother much about any of this for now. In the subsequent videos, you are going to get it, okay? So just as I said, this is a quick overview. I just want to get you started. I just want to get your hand into something. Is it working at all? All right, so uh, we are going to start with the skeleton of HTML. But before then, if you look at the top, we have the name of our file. All right if you okay let's just go ahead all right so as i was saying then every programming language has its own skeleton and html is not an exception okay so we're going to start by creating the skeleton of html please i want you to know this i want you to memorize it and i want you to score this is it working at all all right so don't just as i said don't bother much about any of this snippet for now you are going to get it later on. Just let me get you started. Now, if you look at this, in the place of this HTML snippet, that is what we need for now. So I'm going to be clicking on that. Once I click on the HTML snippet, we have the HTML skeleton automatically generated for us. So we don't need to type in anything because the code has been auto-generated for us. So because we needed to type, I, I, I just press or click on click on the screen or press, sorry press press and press this the screen for my keyboard to be displayed all right so please take note of this every opening html tag must have a corresponding closing tag if you look at it now what do we have at the top we have doc type html the html the lang that is the head the title the head then the body all right what do I mean by every opening tag must have a corresponding closing tag? This is the opening tag of our HTML. This is the closing tag of the HTML. What is the difference between the opening and the closing tag? This forward slash is what differentiates the opening and the closing tag. After we have declared the HTML, the next thing that follows is the head. We have the opening tag of the head and we have the closing tag, the closing tag of the head. What differentiates the opening and, and the closing? This forward slash is it working at all. Inside of the head, we have the title. The same thing. This is where whatever title, don't worry, in the, you're going to get it. After that, we have the body. Okay. The opening tag of the body and the closing tag of the body. Now, the body, this is where, um, this is where all the codes that we're going to be writing, this is where they'll be written. Is it working at all? Is it clear? Beautiful. All right. So for me to get you started, we are, still, we are going to be making use of this Trebedit keyboard a lot, okay? So uh, this is called a tag, right? Or what people call the less than, okay? So I'm going to be clicking on that less than, then we'll have H1, H1, which stands for header one. Now, as soon as I click or press this um, greater than sign to close it, can you see, it's automatically generated the closing tag of the h1 for us remember i told you that every opening tag must have a corresponding closing tag 
don't worry much or don't bother much about this h1 for now you are going to get it in the subsequent videos this is just to get your hand started so i i want to type in my name which is the prof i have it written there can you see now beautiful so how do we view this code the first thing that we need to do is to save what we have done and for us to save if you look at my screen the top hand right hand corner side we have three dots there so i'm going to be clicking on that we have new file open file open for that save and so on so i'm going to be clicking on save to save it now how do we view this work how do we see what we have done if you look at the same top hand right the, the, the top corner side we have a play button so i'm going to be clicking on that play to display what we have done we have the prof is it working at all all right in the subsequent videos we'll start properly